Hello, I pray that you are well today. We continue in the book of Exodus, chapter 17. The whole Israelite community set out from the desert of sin, traveling from the place as the Lord commanded. And they encamped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. So they quarreled with Moses and said, give us water to drink. Moses replied, why do you quarrel with me? Why do you put the Lord to the test? But the people were thirsty for water there and they grumbled against Moses. And they said, why did you bring us out of Egypt to make us and our children and livestock die of thirst? And Moses cried out to the Lord, what am I to do with these people? They're almost ready to stone me. The Lord answered Moses, go in front of the people, take with you some of the elders of Israel and take your staff in your hand, which you struck the Nile and go. And I will stand there before you by the rock at Horeb. Strike the rock and water will come out of it for the people to drink. So Moses did this in the sight of the elders of Israel and he called the place Massa and Meribah because the Israelites quarreled and because they tested God saying, is the Lord among us or not? What a great question. Is the Lord among us or not? Clearly, God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. You can trust him. We have a tendency, even as the children of Israel did, to think, well, how soon we forget that the Lord is with us. I'm not suggesting to you that it feels that way, as if emotionally everything seems to go okay all the time. That's not true. But we know by faith, we walk by faith and not by sight, that the Lord is with us and the Lord will provide for us. And he goes on to say, the Amalekites came and attacked the Israelites at Rephidim. And Moses said to Joshua, choose some of our men and go out and fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of my God in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses ordered, and Moses, Aaron, and Hur went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When the, Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. And Aaron and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and one on the other. So his hands remained steady until sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Who holds up your hands? You ever been so tired? Recognize that there are people just like this, individuals where when Moses' hands grew tired, Aaron and Hur held up his hands. Who are your right hand and left hand person, so to speak? Who supports you? Who lifts you up? Who gives you strength when you don't have? God blesses us with people as well in our life. And he goes on to say this in verse 14, after this occurs, then the Lord said to Moses, write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it because I will completely blot out the name of Amalek from under heaven. And Moses built an altar and called it, the Lord is my banner because, he said, because hands were lifted up against the throne of the Lord, the Lord will be at war against the Amalekites from generation to generation. The Lord is my banner. Do we mark the fact when God redeems us? Do we intentionally remember so we're not quick to grumble and forget and revise? But we recognize you and I don't have strength in and of ourselves. We need others to help us and encourage us and lift us up. I pray. I pray that you are encouraged today. I pray that if you're encouraged to quit, you're tired, that the Lord is the one who strengthens you. And the Lord, I pray, sends people to help you as well. We want to pray and continue to pray for those who struggle and those who have need. We want to pray for children in particular, as very soon school goes back into the session. And we pray for teachers as they come back to teach. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray that we would not forget that you are the one, that you are truly among us and you bless us and you strengthen us, that you are our banner. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today.